So apparently Porsche and Adidas decided to make some soccer cleats together. That's pretty random, but once I found out that was a thing, I had to check it out. Okay, they did an interesting job on the box to say the least. So like the top is this like woven carbon fiber type material, but it's actually just cardboard. And then on the bottom, they have this really smooth bronze cardboard. Actually looks pretty cool. And the reason they did that is because the box splits right there. And then on the front here, it says Adidas and Porsche Design Sport. I wish they would have put the Porsche logo there. That would have added some style points, but they didn't. And then on the bottom, it's the same thing with the shoe size. And then this little pulley tab just to open the box. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for, the actual cleats themselves. Gosh, these things are so laughable. I don't mean to hate on them, but these are my two favorite German companies and this is what they could come up with. I mean, this is like the most basic leather looking soccer cleat ever. There's, I don't know, nothing special about it. It's this thick leather that goes all the way around. And then on the side right there, it says Porsche design, which is super cool. And the tongue is just super thick everywhere. It's so thick, which, makes these cleats really heavy. And then we flip it on the bottom here. This is what they could come up with. They literally stole this cleat off of a messy model that was from like 2016. And right there, you can actually see the messy logo, maybe. It says M on there. But one cool thing that they did add is the same carbon fiber weave that they had on the box. And it's right in between all the studs there which is a cool feature. That's so far the best thing about them. And then on the heel, they have the bronze heel just to match the box, or at least they tried to. Definitely not really the same color, but you know what? We'll give them points for trying. And the laces are super standard, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then in the box, you know, we have the other cleat, thankfully. And they do come with these bronze laces, which I think is cool if you want to swap them out. But, ooh, and they got the little metal aglet in there too, which is sweet, but I don't know why you'd want to play soccer with metal on the laces. Clear that these things were not made to play soccer in. Okay, and then the rest the, on the inside of the box, we just have, I don't know what that is, piece of paper, and then the packing paper. But there is one thing that I have left out. And the reason these cleats are so expensive is because of this right here. So if you guys can see, these cleats came out in March of 2016. There was only 1,500 of them ever made. And these are cleat number 203 out of 1,500. So that's why the price tag is so hefty because you can find these on eBay anywhere between four and $500 if you can find them on eBay at all. And these ones were at a good price. They weren't even in my size, but I just had to pull the trigger on them, so I did. And boy, are they a little more disappointing than I thought they would be. Just because they did not make these for practicality whatsoever. Because even if these weren't like a limit edition cleat I don't think anyone would use these to play soccer and hardly but if this video gets 10,000 likes I know that's a super lofty ask but if it does I will make a video playing soccer in these things but you know what we're actually gonna make this a series where we hunt down super rare cleats and I'm gonna make videos and review them for you guys so I hope you guys stick around those thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it if you like the video please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace